Hi, this is Marius Salamos and this is Long Story Short, episode 10. I call this Respect. It'll probably be a while uh, before, you get to see the, before you get to see this video, but at the time we're shooting this, it's only been a couple of weeks past the incident with uh, French President Emmanuel Macron scolding a boy for calling him Manu. For the benefit of those who will be watching this, uh, who may be watching this video quite a long while after it's been uploaded, allow me a few seconds to remind the incident. So the French president was visiting Fort Mont Valerien in June 2018 for the 78th anniversary of uh, General Charles de Gaulle's resistance call. Uh, Fort Mont Valerien is a, a place where hundreds of French resistance members were executed during World War II. So as the president was walking by the crowd, spreading handshakes and smiles, a teenager was heard at a moment, loudly asking the president, Ça va Manu? What's up Manu? <laughs> and so, just as expected from anyone holding such a highly ranked post, President Macron told the boy that he needed to do things the right way. That, that, and that even if he wanted to lead a, a revolution of some sort one day, he still needed to call him Mr. President or Sir, at least for now. Yet, here are three, three <laughs> of the most popular comments that I noticed uh, in various YouTube videos uh, of the incident that uh, were uploaded by many news agencies around the world. I have them right here. So, comment number one. I hate the way he took it. Clearly, the kid apologized to him immediately after. And he still have to talk to him like this? Would he do the same when he needed the vote? Had he needed the vote? Respect is earned, comment number two. Respect is earned, not requested. Arguing with a teen will only bring you down to their level. Comment number three. He took it too far. He should have just left it off. Mr. President will do. Pat him on the arm like he did, then walk on. No need to stand there and go on about it. Okay, let me ask you something. Had the president been a completely unknown man to the teenager, completely unknown, save for his name. And had the teenager run into the president one day uh, on the road at random, would he still call the president Manu? No, not a chance. The reason why the teenager called the president such was because of his false feeling of intimacy with the president just because he got to see him on TV a couple of times. Anyone who's been awarded a specific position is entitled to a given level of respect related to this position. Even if they, even if they were awarded the post by their dad, <laughs> you may not respect the individual's work, which is fine. Respect after all related contribution is, it's the most difficult to be earned, which makes it the most valuable kind of respect. But irrespective of whether you respect an individual's work and individual's contribution, you still need to respect the post. By calling the pre French president Manu, you first and foremost show disrespect towards the position of the president, towards the office of the president, and then the person. I remember years ago, when I first started my career, I was in, a, in banking back then. I had an excellent, excellent relationship with my manager. We were best buds. One day, the head of our division, who was also a board member at the bank, a very highly ranked person, asked us to prepare a report. And so I prepared the report, sent it in, and sure enough, a few days later, he emailed both me and my manager, inviting us to his office to address some queries of his in relation to our report. And so 
before we got in his office, my manager told me, look, Marius, I know we have an excellent relationship, but this, you have to understand that this is a very highly ranked person that we're about to visit. So please respect the hierarchy and uh, call me Madam in front of him. Do not call me by my first name. That advice resonated with me more than everything else I had learned in the few months that I have been there up to that point. I may be an old coot, I don't know. But I feel as if the world has a tendency of becoming overly simple, overly simplistic. Even in the most, most simplistic animal kingdom, if you see a zebra among a pack of horses and call it a tiger pony, it will be offended. <laughs> And rightfully so. There is a time and a place for everything. Just as I couldn't call the manager of a 30 people department by her first name in front of a board member, in the same sense, a teenager shouldn't be allowed to call the president of a country by a nickname in public. It all has to do with respect. And long story short, respecting each other isn't a sign of times past. It's a sign of progress.